guys, what's up? Nyla here. And in this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the difference in, you know, selling things and then the fees that they cost. And I was going to show you in the back end of my eBay account, um, what I sold in the past two weeks, what those orders look like and how much money I actually made in the end, how much money is going to get rolled back into the business, because this is starting a snowball, right? And we're rolling every little bit of money that comes in back into the business. So let's dive into my eBay account and look at those numbers. So we've made in total sales, six $65.40. Um, we had taxes and fees of $8.21 and then $30.05 in selling costs. Um, I know that we did have one, inter I had one international buyer that bought like a goblin shaman token and that token was around $10, but there was VAT fees on that, VAT fees. So those were all collected and everything. We netted $27.14 in the end, which is awesome. Um, all these cards starting out again, these cards came from my personal collection, things that I've just got over the years of bulk that I've had because I've you know bought cards and played and I'm a player of magic. So um, <laughs> we have all these cards, 2714, that's rolling right back into the business. Um, I've had to spend another 14 of that that you don't see onto HP Instant Inc's monthly Instant Ink plan. Um, that way I have printing and stuff to be able to print directly onto my envelopes. Today, I actually, yesterday was our biggest sales. I had six sales yesterday. Um, and so if we look here, we can see September 2nd, we can see it just slowly kind of like rising of the 11th and the 12th we had the most sales so far and we can kind of see that uptick happening so today it looks like have we already sold something oh it looks like we already sold something today we did sell something today so we had the orders like i said it's upticking and um, we can see the cost here's what's sold i wanted to show you guys that so i sold two stone brains to one person one empty one orb of dragon kind from adventures in forgotten realm set <clears throat> One Brotherhood's End, which makes sense because that's being played right now. Um, one Gix Command. One uh, Fauna Shaman. One Steel Seraph, which I love Steel Seraph. I was kind of like hard pressed to let that one go because I love Steel Seraph, but I'm not playing in a deck and it was really just sitting there. So why not make some money to roll it back into the account? We're going to take all the money that we make from this, all the net, and I'm just rolling it back in. We're not pulling it out and using it for us or anything like that. I might pull some out and use it for gas, but that's because I'm driving to do metered mail and stuff like that. And so if I do, I'm going to write that off into rolling it back into the business. <clears throat> uh, we also sold one imposter mech, one sign and blood Strixhaven, uh, mystical archive, Japanese art, which is such a, such a beautiful card. Um, I enjoyed looking at it for many years, never played it. And so somebody now gets to play with it. One Dritz, Dritz, I can't ever say his name. I'm getting into D&D &D also, and I can't even say his name. Dritz, is it Dritz? Let me know in the comments. How do you pronounce it? Um, one Inquisition of Kozilek, that also is the alternate art. I believe that one's the one that sold today, maybe. One Vampire Token from Val, which look at that, the, the Vampire Token, I ended up making $1.55 off of that for the business. One Goblin Shaman Token, like I said, this one was um, the one that shipped overseas. I made $7.37 off it. One Roiling Vertex, Vortex from Zendikar. Um, one Boss's Orders from Pokemon, one Arvin Trainer card from Pokemon, one Devilish Valet, and one Helena and Elena Partners. So off of these sales, I want to come into, because we've got to talk about some other numbers. So 2714 was after taxes and selling costs through eBay. But then there are other fees that we have as well that you have to calculate in. And so to make sure those numbers are correct, it cost me about a dollar per, per order a dollar per order to do all the shipping stuff. So that is for the top loader, that is for the team bag that it goes into and the penny sleeve, as well as the envelope. Um, and actually printing kind of calculates and it does calculate into that dollar. So we're not gonna take the printing out of this, the number, because that comes into that dollar that I calculate for each in the shipping. Uh, because I'm not doing a stamp, I'm just doing it directly through here. And so I count that on there extra. So a dollar per order, so that's 2714 minus 18 orders. So 2714 minus 18 orders. We've really only netted $9.14. However, it's $9.14 we didn't have for the business and we're out of the black right now. Um, all the costs and stuff have been recouped, which is cool. If we think about the, like I said, I take the printing out like over each order, I count 
the basically the stamp cost twice. So I'm paying for the printing on each one and I count that. So those are the numbers. It's a big deal to know the difference between what actually is, you know, money you're making versus what is, you know, what you're not making. Because some of these things I don't make money on, right? Some of these things I make like 10 cents, 20 cents on or whatever. So out of these 18 orders, we did a pretty good job. Like I said, we've got $9.14 rolling into the business. Big money, big money. Um, you know, it's starting and that's what matters. That's what's cool is that, again, the more listings I get up, the better this is all going to be as far as like making orders and stuff. And the hard part is just honestly, for me, I think the hardest part is getting that will to like go in and be like all right it's time to list it's time to go in and it's time to do this like focus 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 that can be the hardest part especially with doing other things during the day so um that's it for this video guys i appreciate you guys joining make sure to subscribe if you're not already if you want to see more content like this and i will see you in the next video